Now, over the course of the Pokemon anime, there have been a plentiful amount of characters. Some were amazing, and some were pretty boring. But with the release of Pokemon Journeys, fans found a character that they absolutely ripped to shreds. I'm not even kidding. Many Pokemon fans were, to say the least, very open of how much they had go. Some even go as far to say that Pokemon Journeys would have been much better without him. My name is Pokey, and in today's video, we take a deep dive in Go's character, and then answer the burning question on the title of this video. Did Go ruin Pokemon Journeys? Now, we can't really answer the question without listening off the reasons as to what made Go such a supposed bad character. Now, the first point as to what made Go such an unlikable character is probably his biggest one, that being his motivation. Now, unlike Ash, who wanted to beat Leon and become the Pokemon master he always strived to be, Go took a different approach entirely. Instead of being a rival to Ash or even wanting to battle other trainers, his main reason for being a Pokemon trainer is to catch every single Pokemon, including Mew. In fact, Mew is the entire reason he strives to achieve this whole goal in the first place, since he met Mew when he was a child. Now, you might be asking, why did this make Go unlikable? People just hated him because his goal was different? Well, no, the reason is actually a lot more simple than that. To put it simply, the reason people hated Go's motivation isn't because it wasn't to be a powerful trainer, but rather the motivation itself is incredibly simplistic. And I mean, I can't blame people for thinking that way. Listen to this, why would a simple-minded goal such as catching every Pokemon be fun to watch if that's exactly what Ash and his friends do in every single Pokemon series? There's a reason why Pokemon's slogan is called, gotta catch them all. Catching every Pokemon is something that we see in every single Pokemon series. Go's goal to catch every Pokemon doesn't feel fun because it's nothing new. Even when he encountered Mew, he didn't even catch it, which was the entire purpose of his journey as a Pokemon trainer in the first place. And this sucks even more since we're most definitely not going to see Go in the anime ever again, if not for at least three years. So fans were annoyed to find out that not only his goal was incredibly weak, but he didn't even catch the Pokemon he was striving to catch from the start. He didn't even manage to catch any crazy cool legendaries other than Suicune either. He did catch Eternatus, but even that wasn't too shocking since Ash didn't even want the Pokemon and it was enclosed by the professor for safekeeping. So he had all those cool Pokemon Pokemon that he couldn't even use. It don't say things like, oh, but there's so many legendaries, he, he'd be too broken if he if he caught them all, right? Red caught every single Pokemon in the Kanto region, including the legendaries within the Kanto region, that includes Mewtwo. But he obviously can't catch legendaries like Zygarde or Necrozma because that would disrupt the balance. That's my point. His goal was flawed from the start. He was basically reduced to a cheap collectionist, which made fans anger over the character start to grow. Which brings us to our second point, which is probably the most controversial point in this entire video. The second second reason why fans hate to go was the ships. Now, if you didn't know, there were a lot of people shipping Go with Ash, and let's just say the Pokemon community didn't take it lightly. Now, I'm not really here to dive into that rabbit hole, because I know if I do, I'm not making it out. For starters, you can ship two fictional characters together. As long as it's not hurting anybody, there's nothing wrong with it. But the fine line is when you're shipping, you know, young humans. This goes both ways for every kind of Pokemon ship, of course. It's fine to see moments like, for example, Serena blushing around Ash wholesome, because they really are funny moments, but the line is so very thin that you should be wary of what you're say when shipping two different characters like that. I mean, I don't think you should be shipping cards anyways, but you know, I just wanted to establish to always have a good mind when you're nearing that fine line. And I think it quickly becomes an obsession with people, which should be very, very bad. So it's better to just do that kind of stuff with, you know, adults. Now, the biggest issue with the whole Ash and Go ship was that it felt like it was ruining Ash and Go as characters. It's always important to remember while it is okay to ship, it gets kind of cringe when you're trying to place that ship in everyone's minds as canon, but it isn't even true. Some people who did like Go as a character found these ships to be quite annoying, and frankly, I kind of did too. For starters, most of the arguments they would use are scenes where Go would be blushing or getting flustered at Ash's compliments, showing it as signs of Go liking Ash throughout the series. Now, this part is strictly about the people who enforce these things as kin, so keep that in mind. Go getting flustered at Ash's compliments is a very common thing among anime as a whole. For example, in Demon Slayer, whenever Tanjiro compliments Inosuke and Zenitsu, they both get flustered and start blushing. Does that mean they like Tanjiro romantically? No, absolutely not. In fact, Tanjiro ends up with Kanao towards the final end of the series, and Inosuke and Zenitsu end up with Aoi and Nezuka. This also happens with a bunch of other characters as well, Ichikawa and Kafka, Kilo and Gon, Sakura and the entire Windbreaker cast. I can go on and on. Being flustered when someone gives you a compliment in anime is always a natural response, and even in real life too. I know lots of y'all smiling like a freak after clutching a 1v4 and your friend starts screaming calling you the Go. Keep in mind this is also the first time Go has an actual friend, so getting compliments like that is even more rare for him, so it makes sense why he acts that way in the first place. The point is they're just really close friends, and people try to impose a different narrative and stir it up as canon, it gets kinda cringe, and it changes your perspective on how you view them as characters. Besides, Go would've blatantly kissed Ash or even admitted to liking him if it was true, since Serena did it in the past, so there's no reason as to why it would be any different with Go. And this goes for Serena and Ash, 
true. I'm not taking any sides here. There's no canon relationship with Ash, and let's let the man freaking breathe and find his own partner down the line. How about that? Let the man turn 18. Stop shipping him, please. Now it's time for the final point of this video, and then I will be giving my verdict on whether the Pokemon community is in fact right, and Go truly ruined the Journey's anime. With my final point being Go's existence itself. Now, I'm not saying this in a bad way, even though it's probably going to sound that way. The issue is Go himself, and I know that sounds odd, so let me explain. You see, Journey's only focuses on two characters, that is Ash and Go, rather than having an entire group like other anime. The issue with this format is that because there's only two, you have to kind of split the amount of screen time more evenly between the two characters. Why is this an issue, you might ask? Well, that's because this series was Ash's final one. Normally, this format wouldn't be an issue, but the problem was that one of the two characters already existed for 15 plus years and is our MC. So sharing that MC role is just insane when we aren't even going to see Go post Journeys anyway. Having Go exist in Journeys isn't an issue. The issue is having him be an MC. Go would have been fine as a character if he just existed purely as a side character like Chloe. So the fact that they took him as an MC and basically gave him a half-baked storyline and take 50% of Ash's screen time is kind of crazy. I know it's not 50%, but you know what I'm trying to say. So why build an entire new MC for him to only appear for one series while our actual MC has to split his time with us before his own character reaches its conclusion. This isn't even Go's fault, it's just a poor decision from the writers. We could have had a much better conclusion for Ash if the story was focused on him from the start. We were already seeing familiar faces from other regions anyways, and half of the series was Ash talking to old friends, so it's not like it would feel boring since Ash is still surrounded by other characters. So because they split the two characters into two different arcs when we established that Go's arc is already plain and simplistic, and not only that, but he didn't even accomplish his goal at all, half of the story is just mad while the other half feels good but could have been so much more if we just had more time. So to end off the video and to finally answer this question once and for all, did Go ruin Pokemon Journeys? And my answer is not really. Yeah, I know it sounds kind of weird hearing me say that when talking about all the negatives of Go, but listen here. The issue with Go isn't Go himself, but rather the story the writers try to portray within Journeys. The entire trope of having two MCs just doesn't really work when one has a much stronger foundation being the MC since, you know, he's been here for 15 plus years. Especially when this series is the send-off to that beloved MC, Go didn't ruin Journeys, but rather the idea of having another MC alongside Ash was the actual problem. Personally, I'm pretty neutral on Go, but I indeed love Cinderace a lot more, so for solely seeing Cinderace, I thank you, Go. I plan on making a video on what Journeys would have looked like without Go or the ideal revolving just Ash as the MC, so stay tuned for that video by hitting that red button saying subscribe. And then also hitting the bell, don't forget that too. And like, because why not? But guys, let me know what you think of Go in the comments down below. But anyways, I will see y'all next time. Peace.